Listen, you said something that really jumped out at me. And I think it comes from that mindset of being an athlete. You've always been in that competitive kind of nature. You, you said something that stuck, that jumped out at me. And you said being uncomfortable. When we talk about career development, when we talk about switching gears, pivoting, learning new things, becoming curious and remaining curious, how important is it to be uncomfortable? What is the time that you've been uncomfortable and it just like totally knocked you out of your box? What yeah. happened? You know, what was that moment? Cause that's what people really need to understand. You're gonna be uncomfortable on the journey. You're gonna be yep. uncomfortable. I, I mean, every step in my career, there has been a moment or many where I have been deeply uncomfortable. And I like, if I start from the beginning, I could go back to high school, moving from Cleveland to Houston, yeah. being the only black girl in a, uh, on a team, uh, you know, trying to make it, trying to be seen, trying to be totally understood. different cities too, Cleveland and Houston. I mean, polar opposite cities, go ahead. Right. Yeah. For, for the good and the bad, night and day. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I do think some of that ability that I have today came from those moments. So, you know, going out for a volleyball team that was a all white team, I wanted to be a setter, which is I'll, like to translate it, it's the quarterback of the team. It was a perennial program who weren't looking for black setters. No, nobody's looking for a black QB, if you will. And I remember myself and my parents fighting for the spot I deserved, highly uncomfortable for me and my family, but yeah. watching them fight the right fight for what is early days of quality showed me that there's no situation that I cannot surmount if I know I'm meant to be here, right? So I think those yeah. early days yeah. framed up then coming out of a all black university in which I finally saw myself, which was the best decision I've ever made and going into corporate America. So my first job was at the Gap back when the blue box was all of the things and we were yeah, making yeah. some of the most iconic work in yeah, the world, yeah. but everybody was blonde haired, very thin, very not me. And I remember for the first time feeling like a fish out of water, feeling like maybe I shouldn't talk, leaning back, not forward. Yeah. And I almost lost my belief in self. And I, and I, in that moment, thank goodness, I had a great mentor, happened to be a white woman who said, I see you and never yeah. forget that you're here for a reason. And so Brandy, for me, it goes from Gap to Target to General Motors to Nike and Google, highly uncomfortable, new spaces, new areas of expertise, yeah. new people that I need to get to love and trust me and all the while often being the only. And so shattering the like frame that we put in our minds, that imposter syndrome of should I really be yeah. here is step yeah. one. And then just pushing forward one win at a time is how I have done it over all of these years.